Hey everyone, I'm going to get to the end of the game in this video, so if you don't want to have the end of the game spoiled for you, don't watch this video. What happened in the last video is that Nancy recovered El Toro's treasure, which was some sort of map, and the kidnappers left a message telling her to deliver the map to Johnny Roll. Now what? The people who kidnapped my friend, they want me to leave something with you. What is that? Some kind of treasure map. They intend to take it from you when they're sure the coast is clear. I don't want it. Get it out of here. It's not for you. It's for the kidnappers. Oh, no. Forget it. I don't want any part of this. I'm in enough trouble as it is. Look, it's no big deal. All they want is a map. You've got to do this. Please. Oh, crikey. And now that I've done everything you wanted, I want you to do something for me. Sure. What do you want? Just watch. Remember me, Nancy? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, my gosh. You're... That guy from New York, the one who threatened the life of Rick Arlen. You're the agent. David. No. Daniel. Darren. Darwin. Derek. Dewey. Dick. Drake. Dwayne, you idiot. Dwayne Powers. Dwayne Powers? For those of you who don't remember Dwayne Powers, here's a helpful flashback from Nancy Drew. Stay tuned for Dwanger. I mean, danger. Stay tuned for danger. You're Rick Arlen's agent? Yes, I was. But I must confess that the man has no talent. Were it not for his good looks and charm, he'd never have gotten to where he is now. You see, Rick foolishly believes acting is a status symbol, not an art form. He's a ladder climber who'll use anyone to crawl his way to the top. A ladder he's sure to fall from one of these days. Dwayne Powers! Come on, Nancy! Fight the Powers! Dwayne Powers, right! I thought you went to prison. I did. For several long years. But they were well spent. You see, one of the men who worked at the Monkey Research Center here did volunteer work at the prison after he retired. We got to be friends. Good friends. Such good friends that he gave me a book the monkeys had found somewhere here on the island. He was sure it would lead to Sibylla, one of the fabled lost cities of gold. But he couldn't decode it. Nor could I. And then, it hit me. A way to find El Toro's treasure, and get back at the teenage snoop who ruined my life. You buried El Toro's book on the beach, then lured us here, kidnapped Bess, and left me those directions so I could dig it up, decode it, and find the treasure for you. And those clues I found suggesting the Gibsons were the kidnappers, you planted them to throw me off track. Yes! It was all sheer genius! I was an up-and-coming actor before you came along. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. No, I didn't. Well, I was. And as I just proved, I've still got what it takes. You fell for my performance hook, line, and sinker. Not only did I get you to find that map to Sibylla, but I had you begging me to take it from you. And I had you believing there were mysterious other people on the island, didn't I? Unfortunately, there's nobody here but me. Heck, I even got you to help undo the damage those infernal monkeys did to my boat. I was brilliant! Blah, blah, blah. All right, so you were brilliant. Now where's Bess? She's very close, actually. Always has been. Next time, if there is a next time, watch upon whose toes you step, Nancy Drew. Watching where you step wouldn't hurt either. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> This is what's known as the end of the line, Nancy. I was hoping to get all three of you down there, but your pal George lucked out. Oh well, gotta be flexible. No, wait, stop. Come on, Dwayne, let's talk. I want to hear more. You know, about, about how smart you are for coming up with such an incredibly clever plan. Sorry, no time. I've got a tide to catch. Hope you're not afraid of the dark. No, fortunately, I'm not. Oh, that Dwayne is just a big meanie. That's what he is. Nancy! Who's that? Bess! Bess! Oh my gosh, I wasn't sure I'd ever see you again. Are you okay? 
Oh, man, am I glad to see you. I mean, I'm not happy you got dumped down here, too, but I'm real happy I'm not alone anymore. And now that you are down here, I'm really, really happy because I know you'll be able to get us out. And, oh, my gosh, you found my bracelet. That is so cool. And I sound like an absolute rambling idiot, don't I? Sort of. Just try to calm down. Are you okay? Well, I'm kind of thirsty, and I'm starving, of course. And until he opened the lid just now, it was getting pretty stuffy in here. But otherwise, I'm fine. And I found a way out. Look. Bess! Oh my gosh, I wasn't sure I'd ever see you again. Are you okay? Oh man, am I glad to see you. I mean, I'm not happy you got dumped down here too, but I'm real happy I'm not alone anymore. And now that you are down here, I'm really, really happy because I know you'll be able to get us out. Am I making sense? Sort of. Just try to calm down. Are you okay? Well, I'm kind of thirsty, and I'm starving, of course. And until he opened the lid just now, it was getting pretty stuffy in here. But otherwise, I'm fine. And I found a way out. Look! All right, we finally get to meet Bess. You can open it. Locked doors are your specialty. This is so awesome. Come on, man. That door is our only way out of here. Thanks. All right, we do have the key. It was found inside the uh, hourglass puzzle. And opening the door leads to a hidden room. Now, there's a hidden puzzle in this room you can solve. If you look at all of El Toro's pictures, you have that one, you have this one. You'll notice each of them has a symbol on it, such as this one. And you can't forget this one right here. And this one down here on the ground. Can you believe it? For once, I don't want to talk. We can talk later, man. Just get us out of here, okay? Okay. So you'll notice that all those pictures are these pictures that you've seen here in El Toro's journal. Right, right, right. So, you go to the exit door, you take the key that you already have, and you put it in this lock. That's the lock that looks like this. And you get a secret safe. Let's check out that secret safe. Actually... Actually, wait. I forgot to get something. You see this uh, skeleton here? It has a key. You grab the key. Then you go to the hidden safe. There are a bunch of symbols on the safe. You click them in the proper order. That is the order that they appear in El Toro's journal. You put the keys in the locks, turn the keys, then you get to press the buttons in the proper sequence. That's one, two, four, five, and you get El Toro's hidden treasure. If you find this treasure, you get an award at the end of the game, and there's an extra scene in the ending all about it. Now, let's get out of this room here. You uh, get out of the room by going here to the exit door. El Toro's journal. On the last page, there are all sorts of clues that let you know which keyhole is the proper keyhole. Every time you shut the door and open it again, you'll notice that the layout changes. The keyholes move to new places. But no matter what happens, what you have to do is follow the clues in order to figure out which one is the proper keyhole. Let me give you an example. The first clue in El Toro's journal says that if the bottom row has two or more cutout plates, then the keyhole you're looking for is not round. Well, here's one, two, three different cutout plates. That means the keyhole we're looking for isn't this one, that one, that one, or that one. Clue number four says that it can't be bronze and have an empty space above it, so it's not this one, that one, that one, or that one. So, by using the clues and the process of elimination, and maybe a little bit of guesswork, you can figure out which is the keyhole that you have to put El Toro's key into in order to escape from the cave.